So let's go over some of the core gestures in Procreate that will allow you to access certain functions faster. We're gonna go over things like how to undo, how to redo, how to cut, copy, and paste, all with finger gestures. So there are buttons for these things on the screen, but there's a lot faster ways of getting to those functions. Let me just put something on my screen so we have something to work with. Okay, great, let's start there. So let's talk about how to undo. So there is an actual undo button right here on the left-hand side of the screen. However, if you just tap with two fingers, that will also undo the marks that you just made. To access the redo button, it's right here on the screen, but you also can just tap with three fingers on the screen to redo. If you want to undo or redo multiple gestures quickly, you can just press and hold with those same finger motions. So for undo, I would press and hold with two fingers on my screen and it would undo all the things I've had on here. Similarly with the redo, if I press and hold with three fingers, it will redo everything that I just did. So that's a really fast way of doing undo and redo, especially if you have multiple steps that you want to go through. Next up, let's talk about cut, copy, and paste because this is a function that I use all the time, especially right here. The gestures text is not perfectly centered below the core text, so I might want to cut that and move it around. The first thing that you want to make sure is that you are on the correct layer. So I have another layer on here that's hidden, and we'll talk about layers in another video, but we are on the correct layer. I can see that it says core gestures. So I want to use my select tool to select the part of the canvas that I want to modify. So I'm going to click up here on the select tool and I'm going to highlight gestures. So you can see that dashed line is going around the text that I want to alter. And then I'm going to swipe down with three fingers. All right, so if I swipe down with three fingers, this menu will pop up. And here's where I can cut, copy, copy all, cut and paste, copy and paste. So let's talk about these a little bit. If you cut this, it will disappear off of this layer and you'll have to create another layer. And again, I'm gonna swipe down with three fingers and then I can paste it here. And there it is. So if I wanna cut out that whole part about creating a new layer to get that this text transferred over there. I can also select it and swipe down with three fingers. And one of the options here is cut and paste. So if I do that, then if I go to my layers, I'll see that gestures is now on its own separate layer. So now that we've talked about cut and paste, let's also look at what I can do with copy and paste. So if I select this and then I swipe down with three fingers and I say copy and paste, what that's gonna do is that's gonna copy just that selection onto another layer, but you'll notice that I still have it on that original layer. So now there's just a copy of gestures on two layers. So that's how you can copy and paste. You can also duplicate an entire layer by going to your layers menu and I'm gonna swipe right on the layer that I want to duplicate and one option there is to duplicate that layer so now I just have two copies of that layer there. So another quick trick with your colors is if you are alternating between two specific colors and you want to do that quickly so let's say I want to alternate between this nice greenish blue and this orange here so I'm, I'm selecting that orange, but if I press and hold on the circle up here, it goes back to that green blue. That's a really fast way of switching back and forth between two colors. It's a long press and hold until the color changes up here. Remember, you also have the color select tool with just a long press and hold. So that's another fast way. If you have all the colors that you're using on your canvas, then you can just do a press and hold. A good friend of mine, Frank Wessler from Germany, taught me a trick where if you put the colors that you're using on your canvas, so let's say I wanna use these colors for this particular canvas, I can just put 
little dots on my canvas with those colors and then I can just press and hold. That's a quick way of navigating between multiple colors in Procreate without having to open up your color palette library. So thanks Frank for that tip. It has really helped me a lot in creating fast color changes on my canvas. Another cool thing with your Apple Pencil is if you're in the brush tool and you want to switch to the eraser without having to go back to the eraser and click on it, you can just double tap on your pencil and it will immediately take you to your eraser. And then I can double tap again and that will take me to my brush. So that's a fast way of navigating between the brush and the eraser. Okay, those are some of the basic controls and gestures to know in Procreate. So have fun playing with those. The more that you practice those and just record different kinds of conversations, whether that's a podcast or a TED talk or an audiobook, it really helps to just get those gestures down as quickly as you can through practicing. All right, I'll see you in the next video.